Hey, good morning everyone and welcome to ShortSalePowerHour.com. My name is Fred Weaver. My partner Kevin Kaufman is uh, lounging in his chair behind him here behind the camera today. No, really, I am. And we're with Group 4610, Arizona's premier short sale team. So I think you all are going to really like every single one of this week's episodes, including today's Mindset Monday. So this week is dedicated to the um, employees and mindsets of the banks, okay? So we've got some really great stories on tap for you. We're going to share with you here in a minute um, a great Mindset Monday uh, thing from the MBA Mortgage Bankers Association. And then on Tuesday, we're going to talk a little bit about Auckland. We've got our friend Brian Gubernick here with us. And Wednesday, we're going to share some insights with you a little bit more on the positive side about the mindset of Bank of America and some of the things they're doing. And then Thursday and Friday, we're going to end the week talking about our friends at ING and SLS, Specialized Loan Servicing. So I really think you guys are going to love this week. So our normal Mindset Monday is always about what you as an agent need to do to prepare your mindset to uh, basically be able to close more short sales and help your homeowners out. So today I'm going to turn the tables on you a little bit and I am going to read from uh, who's quickly becoming one of our friends, Martin Andelman, who writes a uh, blog called Mandelman Matters and we'll link that for you here again. I'm actually going to read one of Martin's blog posts that he wrote uh, just a couple of months ago actually back in February of this year. And I think you guys are really going to enjoy this. And the idea behind this blog post is this will give you an idea of what's going on in the mind of big business, especially related to banks and the Mortgage Bankers Association. So the title of this particular blog is John Corson sends a message to his friends and family. Do as I say and not as I pay. The CEO of the powerful Mortgage Bankers Association, John Corson, has said that underwater borrowers should keep paying on their mortgage loans and should not walk away from lawful debts. In an interview this past year, Corson appeared generally concerned, adding, what about the message they will send to their family and their kids and their friends? Obviously, Mr. Corson was not just speaking as a defender of financial institutions. Clearly, he was showing how much he cares for people and their personal relationships. He believes the children are our future. He thinks we should teach them well and let them lead the way. That we should show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense of pride. To make it easier, let the children's laughter remind us how we used to be. Thank you, John. You're no Whitney Houston, but you've got me all teary-eyed over here. There's just one little teeny tiny, almost insignificant smidgen of a problem with what the Mortgage Bankers Association CEO is saying. He was completely full of this past week, the CoStar Group Incorporated indicated that it had agreed to buy the MBA's 10-story headquarters building in Washington, D.C. for $41.3 million. The only problem is that $41.3 million comes up a scosh shy of the $75 million first mortgage on the building that the MBA took out from PNC Financial Group way back in 2007 when they purchased the property for $79 million. You remember 2007, don't you, John? That was the last year that all those irresponsible homeowners thinking real estate prices would go up forever kept over leveraging themselves, buying properties without the traditional 20% down payment. What a bunch of irresponsible idiots, right, Johnny boy? Now that the bubble has popped, those homeowners should just be taking their medicine like men. Don't you agree, John? The last thing they should do is walk away from their lawful debts. Isn't that what you said? So I mean, what kind of message are you now sending to your family, your children, and your friends by walking away from your lawful $75 million debt, John? Are they being morally harmed by your decision to stick the bank with close to $25 million? And why aren't you simply paying your mortgage as agreed, Mr. Corson? You're not trying to destroy prices of commercial properties in Washington, D.C., are you? Just last year, you pointed out that defaults hurt neighborhoods by lowering property values. So borrowers would do less harm to our society were they just to repay what they owe. You know, like the responsible homeowners. Oh, and this just in from my favorite bankruptcy attorney and all-around thought leader, Max Gardner. The MBA also defaulted on their payments and secured a forbearance agreement prior to the short sale. Nice done, Johnny O. Maybe you should open up a loan mod firm and start helping homeowners. Well. I think I've got your message, Mr. Corson. I know exactly what you wanted to say to your family, your children, and your friends. Do as I say, not as I pay. Does that about sum it up for you, Mr. John Corson? Yeah, I thought so, Jack. All right, guys. 
That right there is absolutely what's wrong with our world is that we've got people putting fear into homeowners and you as real estate agents that strategically defaulting and walking away from homes is wrong. Even if you think it's wrong, that's fine. I've got a problem though with a gentleman who's the CEO of the Mortgage Bankers Association saying one thing and doing another. And you know what? That sums up my Mindset Monday right there. Let's not do as we hear people say, let's watch their actions, okay? So it's important that you don't just listen to what people are saying, but you watch what they're doing. And that right there is a tragedy. So I hope by now you guys have seen that Martin Andelman and his Martin or excuse me, his Mandelman Matters blog is worth checking out and reading on a weekly or daily basis. And we hope to have him on the show here soon. And you know what, if that grotesques you nearly as bad as it does me, um, I might leave an email address here if I can find one for Mr. John Corson and maybe you could send him an email with your thoughts on this whole scenario. So thanks so much for watching, have a great day and we'll close it up like we always do. One, two, three. Short sale power hour. Short sale power hour. Crush it, John.